Sunny's new banana peel rail takes all the reliability of our roller on demand over under conveyor and adapts it to today's wider, low profile tires and all wheel drive vehicles. Ultra safe, slippery half round UHMW on both rails of the conveyor guide even the most poorly aligned vehicles straight through the tunnel. In addition, rounded UHMW rails eliminate the potential for steel rails to pit over time, ensuring many years of trouble-free operation. Available with either electric or hydraulic drive system with your choice of an air or spring take-up, Sunny's legendary workhorse is a perfect example of simplicity at its best. The Banana Peel's durable 3 8 inch steel frame with half-inch steel top deck is also available with an optional galvanized finish that can add years of life to your conveyor frame. An innovation to advance with a changing world. That's the Banana Peel Conveyor from Sunny's, the car wash factory. Now an in-depth overview of this product with Anthony Analetto, president of Sunny's Equipment Division. Well, who would have thought if you changed something that had been used for the last 20 years that it would get accepted so widely so fast? The banana peel conveyor we rolled out last year at the uh, Orlando show, and we did it because we had some customers that were demanding uh, some, some special uh, changes to our regular conveyor. We had the people in uh, Germany, Belgium, uh, trying to wash low profile vehicles, and those people were very concerned about the wheels, so they wanted a low rail and plastic on inside and outside. They didn't want to even scratch the inside of the wheel. At the BMW factory in North Carolina, they wanted to wash all the new uh, Z3s and uh, BMW Z6 and, and they wanted a low rail and even a wider rail because their new tires on some of those cars are 16 inches wide. Mario Andretti asked us to build a conveyor for uh, to wash one of his cars after we had sold the car wash to a, a new investor so we built a special car wash, to, a special conveyor to wash his. When we did that we created this what we call the banana peel rail. It's on inside and outside. It allowed us to go to um, 13 and a half inch clearance uh, between the tires. So with the plastic on, we have 13 and a half inch wide clearance, which will cover almost anything made here for the U.S. Um, there are a couple of those BMWs sneak in. They are 16 inches wide. Unless you wanted to do that, uh, I wouldn't see the need for it, but we could do that as well. We also incorporated some features on here, which were the air take-up system, where we actually have an air cylinder that just puts the roller up fork assembly in the position, ready for roller up. When the roller fires it, it brings the fork to this position. Then as the next roller is coming through the rack, it hits here and lifts it by the force of the roller, it brings the roller up to the top deck. It then falls back down again, waiting for the next roller to come. It picks it up here. No matter where we fire this roller, if, this, if there was even a roller, up, roller here, we would grab it and pick it up to the top deck. So you can't jam it. The old way, we bring a fork from here to here, trying to catch the roller and pick it up. If we're too late, the pressure wants to push the fork down, the roller will get stuck on the end of the deck or sometimes twist and come into the conveyor cockpit. So this eliminates that completely. We call this the anti-jamming roller up system. And the air take up part here is there's two air shocks that create air tension. Allows us to use the X458 chain, which has also been widely re-accepted to the industry for ease of maintenance. Um, it's been a great piece whether we use the SC78 chain that's designed exclusively for Sunnies and built for Sunnies or the 458 for the easy maintenance. It, they're both uh, very reliable, um, pretty bulletproof uh, chains. And the service on this machine is very easy to do, especially because you have the air take up and you can relax it. The roller up doesn't jam, allows you to be more efficient, wash more cars on the busier days, less downtime. We've got a foot pedal on this side that you can see here. Just by moving the foot a little bit forward, it activates that roller ready to go so you can catch one just in case you miss one or they jump a roller while they're in the panic mode. Um, again, we couldn't have asked for a, a faster acceptance or a wider acceptance. This is now the standard conveyor that we send out every day. You look on the floor, we do have the st traditional style with the angle iron and the, the small round bar. There's always an operator who says, hey, it worked forever, I don't need to change. Or if you need to buy a section just to rebuild your conveyor, we still have that and we always will. But this is what we do now as st the standard. It's what we're selling 90% of and it's been greatly accept accepted both in front wheel pull and rear wheel push applications. You can see here, this is our painted blue with epoxy paint and a, and a great primer or available on this side here with the galvanized finish that'll probably last, I don't know, 30 years. Uh, the, the unit is constructed of all 
half inch top deck and three eighths throughout the rest of the frame and the weldments. Um, it's a bulletproof piece. If you're looking to put a new conveyor in or build a new car wash, this is the heart of the unit. Without this, you're a hand wash or a rollover. You're pushing cars through. Your conveyor is very important. Don't go short. Don't go for less steel, lighter weight. This is uh, the kind of conveyor that's going to keep you reliable in washing cars for a very long time.